you know, as you're, I, I, I'm not going to ask you the tired question about if there's going to be peace and diplomacy, because obviously the United States has shown no effort towards diplomacy and the rhetoric right now is very high and very anti-Russia. So I, I won't, you know, go there. It's, it's, it's kind of um, right now, and unfortunately in a bad place, but I would like to ask um, China was able to uh, get a peace accord suggestion or wanted to kind of be involved and, and uh, the Russian Federation president said, yes, he was open to that. Mm -hmm. Do you see any future with that, with the Chinese peace plan, or is that, you know, kind of falling aside as we move forward? I think the Chinese peace plan is, is not a set uh, peace plan. It's just a number of steps and approaches uh, right. which we welcome. So it's a basis for future dialogue, but it has very right uh, message uh, there. And of course, this this message was not very much liked by uh, by the West and by the Zelensky regime because they are not interested in any peace uh, from the outset. And we heard uh, U.S. officials uh, saying that uh, that peace is dangerous and ceasefire is dangerous. I heard uh, some of uh, some of the members. John of Kirby, you're referring to yeah. the assistant secretary who said a ceasefire is not possible, and yeah. he was almost getting apocalyptic on air. Yeah. Yes, he was I heard that we also need passionate. to quote here some mm -hmm. advisor to, uh, to to Zelensky. I think Podolyak, mm -hmm. uh, saying that this is there is a very dangerous trend because more and more Ukrainians are uh, asking for peace. So can you imagine how? stupid this sounds uh, so for them it's a bad trend because they think that every ukrainian uh, should be absolutely uh, thrilled uh, to die for for western geopolitical interests uh, that's how they see their nation but of course there is a change there is a change even in ukraine where people now more and more understand uh, the, how they are treated and uh, what what might be the future of their nation because of these criminal acts by Zelensky uh, regime and there is big opposition bigger opposition to the war uh, a lot of people are now uh, being forced uh, as these new co new conscripts uh, and without any reparation without any military experience they are being thrown into this meat grinder whereas uh, whereas the uh, more experienced and prepared troops are waiting for uh, alleged uh, alleged uh, counteroffensive, which is important for Zelensky regime you know, to to beg for more weapons uh, from Western countries. So I think the public opinion in Ukraine also understands what's happening. And I don't know whether you are aware or not, but uh, very tragic events are now unfolding in in, in Kiev, um, where the, the the monks and the priests, uh, the Orthodox monks and the priests, are being forced out from. From uh, from a place which is sacred to to, to Orthodox Christianity, uh, it's uh, for about a thousand years uh, uh, Christianity yeah. was was really present there, and now uh, Zelensky regime is uh, trying to force them out and to replace them with with some very pagan church uh, political project, uh, absolutely ha having nothing to do with uh, with Orthodox Christianity, and I think so that. A lot of Ukrainians are shocked uh, seeing this happen because nobody would imagine such a such a sacrilege to to happen in their country. Uh, this also shows the true nature, true colors of of Zelensky regime, and uh, hopefully more and more people in Ukraine will understand where he is pushing uh, their country and who really wants uh, good and bad for for their nation. Yes, that anti-Christian is is truly evil. And um, I, I did see the films of them not only expelling um, people from the monastery that you referred to, but also they were even talking about arresting, mm -hmm. um, you know, these priests and nuns. And yeah, perse persecuting them. Yeah. Persecuting it's... them for their belief. And the Zensky at the same time is boasting that Ukraine has the biggest religious freedom in the world. He was He's doing this uh, on the TV. So it sounds like really a, a mockery of, of everything. Well, and you know, and we all know that um, that the Kiev regime has never been about democracy. I mean, they've gotten rid of political opposition. They've gotten rid of the media. And now they're attacking the religion of the people. Um, they've been killing their own in Donbass. Um, you know, the, the Kiev regime is supposed to be helping their people, not, you know, shelling them, which is why Russia is involved in the first place, you know, is to protect the people of Donbass.